What an offseason it's been. Let's talk about the Houston Rockets. I actually really like their offseason. And I'm not even a Houston Rockets fan. Like, they made, even if Fred Van Vliet doesn't have a good season, like, they made really good moves in terms of, that I think these moves are good in the short term and the long term. Like they did moves that potentially could really work out in the short term and push them to be like a play in playoff team this season. And if they don't work out, they're like not financially capped at all, which I thought was really smart. Like they didn't go out and screw themselves over with all this cap space they had. Like they really could, if it doesn't work out this season, get out of these deals by like trading them easily and because they have loads of draft picks that they could easily convince teams to take these deals and then go at it again next offseason, which I think is really cool. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Let's get into this offseason recap of the Houston Rockets. Like and subscribe. Obviously, it starts off. Emi Udoka comes over. They bring in Dylan Brooks. They bring in Fred Van Vliet. They bring Jock Lando. They bring in Jeff Green. They bring in Heron Holiday. They draft Amen Thompson. They draft Cam Whitmore. They fired Steven Silas. They got rid of Dacian Nix. They got rid of Ty Ty Washington and Uzman Garuba. Traded away KJ Martin, Josh Christopher. Now, obviously, will, will this lead to wins? That's the big thing. Will this actually lead to wins? You know, I think adding Fred Van Vliet gives them an actual point guard, even though Fred Van Vliet has aged. He started to dec decline. But they gave him this two-year deal that, like, again... I said, he's an expiring contract technically next off season, you know? So he's the type of guy that you can get off of that deal. You can convince the team to take him on. Okay. So they were smart there. And what it does is it gives them an actual ball handler. Who's a feisty defender and can facilitate an offense for Jalen Green, Alperin Shagoon, Tari Eason, Kevin Porter Jr., who I think Kevin Porter Jr. is going to become like the sixth man now. And I think it's just smart there. And then Dylan Brooks just gives him a freaking defensive guy who's going to bark at the guys and hold them accountable and be like, you know, a psychopath. Love him or hate him. He'll, he'll do that role. But I know both those players did not shoot 40% from the field. There's a lot of young talent still on this roster. Do they have enough time and reps? Can he, M.A. Udoka do the same thing he did in Boston? It's a tough, you know, task. This team's probably a year away from being what we think they can be than what they will. But let's talk about this roster that they have currently. And again, I've said it before. I, I do have faith in this team that it really could work out. And like I said, I do want to tell you guys about any like little things. So Kevin Porter Jr. only has a million dollars guaranteed in 2024. And it increases to $3 million, if not waived by the first regular season of this year. And it'll increase to $6 million if he's not waived, you know, or traded, I guess, five days after the trade deadline. And it's fully guaranteed if he makes it to next offseason, which is crazy. Jeff Green has no money guaranteed next year. So does Jock Landell. And yeah, so... Those are some deals that they can get out of just to let you guys know financially about those teams. So they have 17 players under contract right now. Fred Van Vliet, Dylan Brooks, Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, Jeff Green, Jabari Smith Jr., Amen Thompson, Jock Landell, Jay Sean Tate, who's a dog, Alperin Shagoon, Tari Eason, Cam Whitmore, Aaron Holiday. They also have Nate Hinton, Genith Williams, Matthew Mayer, and Joshua OBC all on training camp deals so they're just going to be g league guys and you can only have four training camp deals so they filled up their training camp deals and they already have three two-way guys so their roster is set ladies and gentlemen their roster is set they technically could sign one more guy to a guaranteed deal i believe but yeah their roster is set right now with what seems to be 14 players probably making the team and the pod carry one open roster spot they have darius days Trevor Hudgens and Jermaine Samuels on two ways. So that's their roster as of right now, which I, I again, I, I really don't think it's a bad team. I actually think it's a lot better of a squad than people are going to give them. I'm, 
I'm a believer in Ami Udoka. My dad's a Boston Celtics fan. One of my best friends is a huge Boston Celtics fan. I was like, Boston's always been one of my, I, I like Boston. Like I, I, I'm a fan. Yeah, they're like my fourth team, I guess you'd say. Like my fourth, because I have like three number ones. And you're like, if you have like three tied for one, that means like one, two, three don't exist. So you just get the four. So, but I disregard. So the starting lineup is probably going to be Fred Van Vliet, Jalen Green, Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith, Alperin Shagoon. I can live with that. Then you have Kevin Porter Jr. And, you know, Sean Tate, Tari Eason, Jock Landell. Jeff Green, Amen Thompson, probably all right there behind them. And I really think Kevin Porter Jr., probably the, the first eight is probably, but the whole thing is we heard Emma Udoka say that the guys who are going to play is defense. Like whoever comes out training camp playing defense is going to play. So that's what we've heard. 